guys, welcome to Rogue Reviews. My name's Nolan. My name's Evan. And last night we saw the latest chapter in the DC Extended Universe, Wonder Woman. Directed by Patty Jenkins and stars Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, Robin Wright, Lucy Davis, Danny Hudson, and Connie Nielsen. Alright, no matter what you think about the DC movies up to this point, it's fair to say they haven't received the best critical reaction and fan reaction. They've been extremely mixed. I'm a fan of most of them. I love Man of Steel. I think the ultimate cut of Batman vs Superman is way better. Suicide Squad I had fun with. Going into Wonder Woman, seeing all of the positivity swelling around this movie, I was just like, all right, is this just a hype thing? You know, can this movie deliver? And for me, it completely delivered. I was just blown away at how much I liked this movie. Definitely, definitely a good movie. A breath of fresh air, I think, for all movie genres uh, to come out, at least in this day and age. Not just the hero movie, but to actually have something that has so much genuine heart, you know, and this goes deeper than movies. I mean, with politics and life and all that, everything is just very daunting and dramatic and negative nowadays. And here you have a movie that is so keen on sporting and showing that human life at its core is just so full of hope and the want to thrive and to help each other and you know you really feel that in this film and I mean to even achieve that in real life you know it's ex ex extremely difficult but to do it in a movie I imagine it's even more difficult and uh, they definitely achieved that and it's exactly what we needed for a Wonder Woman movie. Like Jor-El says in All-Star Superman to Superman, it's like, you will become the ideal to strive towards, you know, the people raised behind you, they'll stumble, they'll fall, but they'll join you. You know, it's that, it's that logic, and it's something I haven't seen in a superhero movie really since the Richard Donner Superman, the movie. Just that pure, like, hey, this is what you should strive to be like against the great backdrop of World War One, which I thought was a really interesting choice because we don't get a lot of World War One movies. Gal Gadot, I really liked her in Batman vs Superman. There was a lot of worry with her acting ability going in, but for me, Patty Jenkins as director really played up to her strengths. I thought it was really cool how they kind of turned the island of Themyscira to them all having Gal Gadot's accents. I thought that was a really good way to highlight her strength and not make her weaknesses show because she hasn't been able to like nail an American accent in any movie I've seen but you know she's Wonder Woman she's an Amazon she doesn't need an American accent. Chris Pine almost steals this movie his chemistry with Gal Gadot is so fantastic every scene they're in is just just a great back and forth. The fluidity of this movie was pretty fast it was very ambitious and I'm not saying that it didn't succeed it, it did it it really was entertaining and you got, I believe, all the points that they were trying to convey in each scene. I mean, you understood it. You understood what they were going for. Uh, they have to establish, you know, Wonder Woman's island, her ambitions as a child, growing up to being, okay, she does know who she is, but, you know, she's obviously really important. That alone right there could have been, you know, a, a big part in itself, but they, they just kept trucking along, trucking along, enter Chris Pine, enter the rest of the world, and you basically have to establish the love that people have at heart. You have the depravity and the horrors of World War I that you have to put into play with this. You still have to stay true to the story <laughs> on top of getting the setting established. And it was just a lot to take in, and if I had to say one thing, it just didn't have enough time to do it. Whether that was a conscious decision, it probably was. I think that's a credit to Patty Jenkins' director, like, just keeping everything moving right. along so much. Like, her as a director, you know, she's the first female director to get a budget of over $100 million. This movie's tracking to make over $100 million first weekend, so that's fantastic. Um, and I think she just really brought a lot to the table with the directing, like with the action is fantastic in this movie, like the war scenes are intense, um, yet you have all these softer quiet moments with Chris Pine and Gal Gadot that she nails as well and she just, she's going to get a lot of opportunities after this movie, we're going to hear her name for a long time. 
So Hans Zimmer obviously did the Wonder Woman theme coming from Batman vs Superman, but I can't leave out that main character and that is the music. I was pretty impressed. It had a lot of different sides to it. It very well maximized every scene with complete accuracy. I mean, you have the heart coming in when uh, that one town was in trouble. You have the epicness of just grand scale score going on. I thought the music was pretty well done in this and not just like canned music <laughs> like most of these Harry movies are. You could tell that there was a formula. You could kind of see a little bit of it. Like every great movie you can kind of see we have plot, we have this, then we do this. It's like pop structure in music. Mm -hmm. And I could see a little bit of that in this, but I'm not complaining. I mean... It's a, it's a good origin story. It was big stakes, but in a smaller way. Like, I don't want to, like, spoil what they're doing in the movie, but it's not the, hey, there's a sky beam and we need to save the entire world, otherwise it's going to be destroyed, you know? It's, it's, it's smaller than that, which I really like when these superhero movies just kind of pull back and are like, all right, well, let's just have them go after something small. Like you said, it's a breath of fresh air. Something to consider yeah, after seeing the film and considering this is really interesting to think about, but this is just a small blip in the history of the world and taking place in World War One, and knowing, you know, we're going to have her in the future with Batman and Superman and all that. This is just one little story and it just adds so much depth to the grand universe that is unfolding with these movies and I like when movies do that. It's like with well, that one little time, you know, and you have those memories like when she's looking at the picture. Yeah. It's like now you know that all the emotion that came with just this one little blip in history. And that's so cool to me. Yeah, and it's it good makes, storytelling. It adds like to her character going forward, like when I rewatch Batman vs Superman, like when she's in that, it's like, all right, well she's been through all this other stuff and it adds more to her character in that movie and seeing where she came from. The only problem I had with the film was the ending. Um, it's not that I had a major problem with it, it's that it was very, it, it just had the classic symptoms of a giant movie kind of revving up and revving up and revving up and revving up and it's like, oh crap, we have to close this thing. And it was kind of like, uh, 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 like it was kind of choppy for me at the end. It was good, like don't get me wrong, it, it was okay. I just could, it was kind of, I was kind of coming out of my, you know, when you were in the zone watching a movie, I was kind of coming out of it a little bit, like, okay, we're a little bit stop and go here, like, suck me back in, you know, like, get me more involved, and that was my only bit with it, but it definitely puts you in a good place at the end of it, which is refreshing. So what would you rate this movie? Well, for me, this is like one of the most hopeful superhero movies we've had in years. You just walk out of it feeling good about yourself and about the world for once, um, which is refreshing. Love Gal Gadot in this role. Physicality is just <laughs> off the charts with her. Physicality. <laughs> I mean, like fighting styles and everything. Right, and, and right, right. She looks good in the suit. She looks good in the suit. <laughs> Chris Pine is fantastic. The whole cast. Patty Jenkins. It just... They knocked it out of the park all around, and this is, I've seen online, like, this movie saved the DC Universe, which it's too soon to know that for sure. Wonder Woman is going to be the, one of the most enjoyable movies you'll probably see all summer, um, so I'm going to go with 9.2. Um, Wonder Woman, so definitely circling back, everything was great, I had a, a, it was a fun thrill ride. You can say alone that it was just a good World War One movie. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you could take all the superhero out of it, and it was it was cool seeing like they really captured the feel and the vibe. Um, not that I was there, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Gal Gadot killed it. I mean, I can't picture anyone else being Wonder Woman, and I know that was a worry for a lot of people uh, going into it, but I think she killed it. I, maybe her acting chops that people were brought were bringing up. Yeah. I think that added to the performance. Because it added to her being so naive and innocent, yeah. you know? And like I was saying to Nolan the night of, the eyes, her eyes just sell it. And you just see hope in it. So she did a great job. Chris Pine killed it. I mean, he's a great actor. I, I'll be, I'll totally stand behind him with that. Everyone else, even the oddball characters where they added the comedy, they were great. The music was great. Direction was great. This was a big movie and they pulled it off. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Guys, go see it. Fantastic movie. No matter if you're a DC or Marvel fanboy, you can like both internet. There it is, guys. Our review for Wonder Woman. 
Thank you so much for hanging out. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you would like to see more. We will catch you on the next review. And yeah, go see Wonder Woman. <laughs> there you go.